You're listening to the Call Kent podcast, where Kent C. Dodds answers questions and gives insights to software engineers like you. Now, let's hear the call. Hey, Kent. In a Remix application, how do you decide which parts of the logic inside of a loader of an action you want to put inside of a separate uh, .server file? I'm struggling to escalate an application and decide, for example, if I should put the Prisma calls in a separate server file or which kind of the code should I leave inside of the loaders or actions or put it outside. What do you think? Also regarding uh, testability. And that was the call. Here's what Kent had to say. Hey there, Christian. Thank you for the question. So this is going to be, um, uh, people are going to have a lot of different opinions on where you put different, uh, uh, where you put code. Uh, since the dawn of time, we've always argued over uh, where the most appropriate place to put code is. And uh, I've come down to a principle um, that uh, um, I, I feel pretty good about. And that is, I try to put code as close to where uh, it, uh, as near to other things that change as possible. So like the principle would be uh, things that change together should be co-located together. Uh, so as close as possible. Um, and that, um, yeah, that's worked out pretty well for me. Um, I know a lot of people like to um, arbitrarily separate um, things as much as possible, um, have like the separation of concerns. But as far as I'm concerned, the concern is getting the user that they, the data that they need. And to accomplish that, you need not only uh, the queries, but also the UI for displaying that. And uh, so to me, I just stick things uh, as close as possible. Now, uh, occasionally you're gonna have uh, bits of code that are very, very much the same and need to remain the same. And so that's when you create functions that you can then call. And, um, and in some cases, it just makes a lot of sense to keep everything together. Like here's all my utilities for authentication. And um, I, I need to have the uh, cookie name um, needs to be uh, shared between two different things. So I'm just going to put all the stuff right in here so they have access to the cookie name and then I can call from somewhere else. Um, but uh, for stuff that is not shared, like I've got um, a dashboard page and a das dashboard widget and here's the UI for it, I'm going to stick the query right next to that uh, as close as I possibly can. And so that's what I that, like. Um, typically what I like to do is I'll put it as close as uh, possible. And then the burden of proof is on the, um, the why should I extract it from that uh, place? And so uh, my default is to put it as close uh, as, as possible. And there's got to be a good reason for me to extract it into a different place, like a user.server file or something like that. Um, if I uh, if it's really complicated logic and I don't want to test it through the UI, then maybe I'll extract it to a separate file so I can test it in is isolation because it's so complex. Um, or if um, I need to use those same utilities elsewhere, and then yeah, sure, I can extract it to another th thing. But the point is that I want to um, only move things as I feel that it's necessary. So I hope that helps answer your question, Christian, and I hope you have a nice day. This has been the Call Kent podcast. Learn more about Kent at kentcdods.com and get your own questions answered at kentcdods.com slash calls.